Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be showing you guys the top 5 games that you can get on PS4 right now in 2016, at the beginning of 2016, and I'm probably going to do one of these later in 2016, as more games come out in 2016, but because 2016 just started, I'm just basically going to be showing you all the games that are best for right now. This top 5 will definitely change in the future. Coming in at number 5 is going to be Fallout 4. This was an amazing story game. It's story driven, absolutely amazing, and compared to other fallouts, personally I like the other fallouts better, but this one, it had probably the best main story I've ever played, but that's about all it has with the main story, so that's why it's so far on the list. Coming in at number 4 is going to be Star Wars Battlefront. This is an amazing first person shooter game, an amazing multiplayer game, an amazing Star Wars game. Just an amazing game all around, but there isn't a whole lot of variety to the amazingness that it is. It's basically, it's got multiplayer and that's it. And you can, there's not that many blasters, there's like 11 total. But the characters that you get kind of towards the end are pretty cool, which I like that you have to get level up pretty high to get the best characters and they don't just give them to everybody. So if you definitely have the Shadow Trooper, or the chick with the blue hair, you're definitely a badass in that game. Coming in at number 3 is going to be Rocket League. This was the indie, di the indie game that won all of our hearts. It was an absolutely amazing game. It's competitive, it's easy to get into, low barrier of entry, but there's still, you gotta master it and it is extremely hard to master. Very competitive game easy to follow too so if you're watching it you can like know what's going on and I swear those fools are like flying through the air if you ever watched the like the finals of a Rocket League tournament they, like those guys are just flying through the air they're absolutely amazing coming in at number two is going to be Black Ops 3 so the only reason I put this over Star Wars is because this game has a lot more to offer. It has a campaign, it has zombies, it has a new nightmare mode, and it still has multiplayer. And it has a lot more levels that you can get in multiplayer. It has a lot more guns, and it has a lot more perks. And it, it's got attachments too, like Star Wars doesn't even have attachments. And it has a lot more game modes too, so there's a lot more variety to Black Ops 3. You can play it a lot longer, and also there's a, com a huge competitive scene for Black Ops 3. So if you're into competing, you can do that. And also it has like a just a casual scene, a big casual scene too. So even if you're not trying to do all that and you're just trying to hang out with your homies, that game works too. Coming in at the number one spot is going to be Grand Theft Auto V. Now I know this game came out in 2013, but it is still amazing. It has a huge variety of stuff you can do. It's got an open world, it's a story driven game. It's a first person shooter. Uh, it's, it can be a first person shooter, but it's mainly just a third person shooter. So I'll just say it's a shooter. It's a racing game too. If you're into racing, you can got you can get your car and you can get different cars, a whole lot of different cars. Customize your cars, make it your own. You can customize your guns too, make those your own. Um, what else is there? It's still open world. Uh, the only thing that it doesn't really have is a huge competitive scene. It doesn't have any competitive scene at all. So in Grand Theft Auto 6, that is definitely something that I think Rockstar should try and include. And if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't need any other game other than Grand Theft Auto if it had a competitive scene. But it doesn't, so I got other games to play. But if I was going to get one game, it would just be Grand Theft Auto. Because then you get the shooter, you get the open worldness, you get the story, you get the the racing too. So it looks like a car game, like Rocket League is. And yeah, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this top five. Come back for more. I'm out. Peace.